How's it going everybody? Ed Ricker here, and this is my first video talking about the DJI Mavic Pro. Now, if you're a relatively new drone operator, you know that your first couple flights felt like holding $1,000 in cash out of a car window, moving 60 miles an hour down the highway while you had electrodes stuck to your nipples zapping you every five seconds. It's that adrenaline that may have been coursing through your body. From F-Stop Labs, we have the prop guards. So these are gonna fit onto each prop here. I do want to weigh them, so I'm gonna turn on my little scale here, wait for it to boot up. 4.2 ounces. The drone itself is like 25, 26 ounces, I think, with the battery and the SD card and all that stuff. But I still don't think you'd probably see very much performance degradation just because this thing is designed to handle a lot of wind and a lot of forces externally like that. These back arms, they have a flat top. But if you look at the front arms, they're actually slanted like a 30 degree angle. So each one of these actually has either a flat top or a diagonal top like that. I didn't even realize this, but the, the rear propellers are actually a little bit offset from straight. This is not a straight line. So each one of these arms is also going to be a little off center. Take these little pieces like this and they snap and those actually hold. I see that this would be very easy to lose and they didn't give me any extra ones. Can you imagine? If you just lose this, if it, if it runs into something and this flies off. Um, so the drone instantly got a lot bigger. It feels huge now. I'd also like to say that this is adding a lot to what we have to carry. Um, so before, you know, obviously the drone can fit into this nice bag that you get with the fly more combo along with the controller and all that stuff, extra batteries. But with these things, this prop guard, all of a sudden you're adding a new element into it, either a bigger bag or um, something like an additional bag. All right guys, let's take this out and see what kind of stupid stuff we can do. I do not condone my actions. Do not try this at home. All right, we're back at the uh, woods that we were flying in last week. Looks like we could do some weaving back and forth up until this point when we have the sapling here. And then right off the bat, I am noticing that because of this wider profile, all of a sudden, um, I'm having some issues finding a good place to take off because a lot of this has to be completely level or these prop guards are gonna to touch the ground and bend upward. It definitely has a different sound to it. It actually has a lower hum, more of a bassy hum. So the first thing that I noticed is because it's so much wider, of course, when you move forward, it, it tilts forward. When you move backward, it tilts backward. All of a sudden, you're creating sort of a plane wing and uh, so it's altering its height and it's not maintaining proper altitude. I was going pretty quickly and the wind actually forced it downward because of the way that it was kind of tilted downward as it was moving forward. So compound that with the fact that it's heavier and this actually feels a lot different when you're flying it. Okay, verdict is it's not uncrashable. It still crashes. <laughs> but um, I think what happened was I kind of hit a tree and what it did is it got caught here. I almost wish this wasn't here because that's what's gonna happen. It's gonna catch something if you're flying and now the drone's gonna spin around and you're gonna eventually catch your propeller. So this propeller was completely torn off. Also, the gimbal lens hood fell off, so I'm so glad that it was on, because if it wasn't on, we would have possibly had a gimbal injury. Let's fly again and make sure that we are a little more cautious and see if this still works. So the drone works, and I'm glad. So let's go to a second location and see if there's anything else we can 
test out with these, these prop guards. So I put on the uh, propeller guards and I was gonna put on my landing gear too because I'm about to take off where there's a lot of leaves. And I realized that this style of landing gear does not work. It can still operate and fly, but it is a little bit loose. All right, I'm back. So this thing definitely did save me on a few occasions when it bounced right off of a tree, but on the occasion when the tree actually went through inside the gap of two of them, it actually kind of stuck in there and it caught this little lip here. And uh, if that lip was not there, I don't think the crash would have been so spectacular. Anyway, not a big deal. The drone survived, it's working just fine. Thank God, whoo! I do think that people who uh, do realty videos and shoot realty tours of homes that are for sale can really benefit from these because these work amazing against walls and large pieces of furniture like this chair, things that aren't gonna get caught inside of that space here. Anyway, thanks so much for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you uh, haven't already because I make videos like this all the time and Give me a comment if you have a suggestion or if you have other prop guards that you want to um, share your experiences with. And until next time, happy flying everybody.